This is a follow-up to my previous video, which was talking about how to make a filter mask out of a MERV 12 or higher um, furnace pleated furnace filter. Um, and I'd stated in that video that there was a noticeable odor, which kind of stuck with me as a taste in my mouth up to a day later. Uh, not unpleasant, but just noticeable and that I had no idea whether or not that might be something that was harmful. So it was a do-at-your-own-risk thing. Um, I've since learned, by actually reading the label on the thing more carefully, that these have an antimicrobial uh, treatment applied to them to keep anything from growing in them during use. And with that extra bit of knowledge, uh, I have decided that I'm not going to recommend that people do this anymore. I still don't know whether that antimicrobial would be something that would be dangerous to breathe. Um, I've worn this multiple hours on several different days. I seem to be okay so far. But um, out of an abundance of caution, since there are fabric filter mask designs that you can make, um, I'm not going to promote this idea anymore um, just because it seems like getting a concentrated dose of whatever is in here going right into your lungs is probably not a good idea and it makes me kind of sad because it was an elegant hack very simple to make quick to put together pretty cheap and pretty durable too this is uh, pretty stuff tough uh, thick paper and very comfortable, but um, probably not the best idea, just for other reasons. Sorry.